Hello. <laughs> I'm Carrie of the Creative Obsession, and this is Michelle. She's the naughty nitwit. Okay, that is my. I that's do, your handle. That that's true. That's true. That this is my, my friend Instagram, Michelle. I am. I, I am you are naughty nitwit. I think not, you are the naughty nitwit. Just nitwit. Just nitwit. Naughty. I, I do have a podcast that I do with another friend, Leslie, called the Naughty Nitwits. And we haven't done one of those in a while. For quite a while. Um, Leslie's been busy. She got a new job, and you know. But um, Carrie says, "Hey, come on over." And so the here public, I am. the public asked for you. Uh, we, they did. We, the public. We want to keep you. the people happy. That's right. Is what we want to do. What they're saying is, Carrie, by yourself. <laughs> I don't think She's anybody's saying that. Why? <laughs> But I do appreciate that you have me on the proper side. I of did. The table. I did actually yes. move you to the other side, which makes it easier for me to get around and get to oh, the good. camera because oh, nice. it's a reach. <laughs> I can't help but it caught my attention that cute pillow you have on that chair. What is that? What it's supposed I mean, it's to a be pillow, a schnauzer. But... That's that was me. Oh, okay. But, but like as a flower. Okay, yeah. Okay, now it's, they're going to want to know. You have to see this. But it's, it's missing It's missing the highlight of the eyeball on the, on the one it side. W that wouldn't have given it away for me. I just it Because I was up. seeing flower type thing, and then also it kind of looked butterfly-ish. It's supposed to look but, like an iris, I think. Okay. And I see the tongue now, right? That's a tongue. So that was, I forget who it's really did cute. the cute. <laughs> it is cute. <laughs> and it, it had the little highlight fell off of the eye. I completely see it now as the schnauzer, but when it was sitting there, I was just like, is that a butterfly? Is that a flower? Because <laughs> you could only I see could, part could, of it. Yeah. But see, now you see his little feet. Oh, no, I hadn't <laughs> noticed that there were feet either. That's really cute. That's my Millie. Yeah. So she sits All over right. there. Okay. So, okay. That little distraction out of the way. That's okay. Did you like my bouquet of flowers? Uh, yes. Isn't that cool? Yeah. There's <laughs> that a was my Mother's Day gift from my boys. Are they um, it's Legos. toys? Those are Legos. Those are Legos. Wow. <laughs> I should put my glasses on. <laughs> like, yeah, they're pretty. Yeah, um, I still have a couple more flowers to make that go in it that look like oh, um, oh so like they, a mom they almost. didn't even put it together. No, even, I got the, the whole, kit. Wow, I had to play with Legos. Oh, gosh, no, it was actually no, pretty fun, and it was, it was a fantastic fun. Mother's Day. That would stress me out. No, yeah, <laughs> it would. I don't, and these I won't kill. That is a plus. I don't have to worry about forgetting to water them. I'm not good with plants. I'm not either. I'm barely keeping my one little succulent alive. And succulents are supposed to be, like, hardy. I had to buy some succulent miracle Grow. Oh. Be yeah. I didn't even know they made it. But I <laughs> I don't even do well with succulents, so I need the I think the I need to repot them. it. I, it's probably part of I it. think that's part of where things went wrong for me was I tried to repot my aloe. I have to have an aloe vera because I burn myself so frequently. Oh, that you Not have to, purpose, to medicate. Yes. You need it for the medication. I need the gel. <laughs> and I did. I tried to replant it, and then things went south. And, um, and actually, that one I ended up having to throw out, and I bought a new one. <laughs> <laughs> and it was all great for a while, and then it started getting bad and brown and dying. So then I got Just buy this. another one. <laughs> I, yeah, that gets kind of silly. I I did yeah. that with my um, Venus flytrap. Oh, I'm not good with those either. Well, you have to feed them fly. I mean, you have well, to feed them no bugs. There's no of bugs out where oh, I'm that's at. That's true. That's yeah. true. Um, but yeah, they just don't thrive. Might not get the right lighting or something. They or say too much full sun. I mean, or... maybe that's it because we have had a lot of sunlight, mm -hmm. and so maybe it's just gotten too much. But it's been hot. was it real smoky up by yes. you? Yes. Oh my gosh, oh. it was so smoky the other day. Yeah, Sunday. It was really bad yes. on Sunday. In fact, I bad. like I felt like a smoker. Yeah. My lungs were hurting. My throat and, was sore, mm -hmm. and yeah, that was nasty. <laughs> I wondered if it <clears throat> was up there. It did it as well. Not like a few years ago. Not like not those, like but... not like everything. Was was orange but everything right. was golden yeah <laughs> it was very smoky it, it definitely looked weird but i could really tell in just the air quality mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. like yeah and again feel sad. bad even complaining about that given because the right fires exactly on, because i don't i didn't have to be evacuated from my home which no. a friend of mine did oh so, yeah yeah 
She's she doesn't okay. have to go into the ocean to. She's okay. Yeah. Go. Right. <laughs> Golly. So. Okay. All right. I'm gonna start pulling stuff. Okay. Out. Start pulling your stuff out. Okay. Um. Last time, I think you and I. Well, last time I was on, I talked about the lava lamp block exchange yes. that I did, and we exchanged did you get our it? blocks. Yes, I did. That's exciting. And I was gonna have it on the wall, but I'll talk about the one that's on the wall. Because that's going to be... Oh, that's cute. That's going to be a giveaway. Oh. So the pattern that we followed was by Molly Sparkles. And I'll put a link to it down below. It wasn't the best pattern. It was just... It was just the pattern, no directions. And there were size issues and stuff. But we all made it work. So this was the one I made, which I think I showed you. That's cute. And I had different uh prints in the same line that i did for all my blocks that i sent out and then i got just some really fun ones back and so we did our zoom um like opening we waited Aww. until we were all together and this was from my friend and she did all hers based off of star wars so oh. this is yoda Oh, really? Like the colors. Oh, okay. I'm not a Star Wars I'm, person, so I, I, yeah, but I didn't connect those dots. And then this was from one of my friends in the UK. Oh, that's Which awesome. is all the UK, like, prints and stuff and teacups. And this is a fun print. I think this is Are like they sperm? African. No. No, it's just a <laughs> I'm I'm only seeing it from the side. And notice oh. I still don't have my glasses on. So okay, I'm so just making excuses okay. as to why I... Just put your damn glasses on. <laughs> That's and, cute. I really like that. Yeah. You're, you're just, oh, you because never mind. It's what? I really like it. I like yeah. the little the like, wood. Yeah, it looks like wood yeah. table that she picked a print like that. Yeah. The, the not that we're picking favorites, but if I was, <laughs> I would say that's Tandy. She likes yours. <laughs> My friend Charlotte sent that one. They're all great. They're all going to be great. I don't yes. know how I'm going to put them oh. together. That's fun. So that one. Well, ever since you talked about. Angel. Oh, look at that. I, that's awesome. Right? Yes, that's really cute. This was from um, another UK friend. I've been thinking I need a lava oh, lamp in my life again. Like a real lava fun. lamp? They are kind of fun. fun. And then my friendship did this one. Nice. So I, we got them all. It was really fun to open them. We also, at that same Zoom meeting, celebrated Chip's 50th birthday. <laughs> and we wanted to give him a surprise birthday on it. Zoom. I got to put a picture. Yes. So um, we decided to do a Zoom birthday with when we did the lava lamps and um, to do like a Vegas theme. And there's a long story to who Diamond Darcy is, but I dressed up as my version of you are now Diamond, the Diamond Darcy. Diamond, I don't care Diamond about the Darcy. other one. I don't put the picture here. So it was so fun because we surprised him. We got on thinking we were just going to do this oh, thing, good. and other people were dressed up or had backdrops that, like, one of them was um, like a blackjack dealer. So he had like you know looked like a dealer. <laughs> one of my friends. <laughs> He looked like a bar fly. He had like a mullet kind of um, oh. of a wig on with a hat, like a trucker hat, you know. Oh, that's <laughs> it was, awesome. It was so fun. Some people are so good at, and you are one of them, <laughs> at this really whole dressing fun. up thing. I'm it, not. It was, yeah, it was, I really enjoyed, I mean, I just, I got into it. And the only thing I didn't have, which I almost ordered and then I didn't, and then I wish I would have, was they had fake cigarettes on Amazon. So it do looks, they really? They do oh, that look like awesome. the ends burning. And I thought, yeah, I need to have a cigarette. And I'm like, no, I don't need, <laughs> I don't need to do that. But the yeah, barfly my, needed one. He probably yeah. did. That's so funny. <laughs> we nicknamed him Cooter. <laughs> Cooter. That's great. So anyway, my lava lamps are done. I have to just kind of figure out how I'm going to arrange them and put yeah. them together and stuff and like, like that do you have a background in mind already or? probably black oh, to yeah. connect them together just yeah. because they're all different there's colors. a lot of colors going on there's there. a lot of colors a lot of different prints and i think black will just but oddly there seems to be a continuity to them well everybody Did you guys have a no, no we okay. could do whatever we okay. wanted and this was really out of my box because i don't do anything with browns and stuff but for whatever reason this line i just i loved it so um yeah. So anyway, that was fun. That's over with. I'm and gonna have to get a lava lamp. 
You should get a I lava think I need lamp. A lava lamp. I remember when Robert was little, he saved his money. He wanted a lava lamp so bad, and we made him save at least half. Yeah. And we would pay for half. And it was such a big deal. And he is so good with his money that even as a little kid, he was like, okay, I'm going to save my money. We used to do that with our money. kids, too. If you and, come yep. up with half If you of want it, that yeah. so bad, then you got to at least come up with half. Yeah. And so he had his lava lamp for oh. a while. <laughs> Renata had a llama, a llama lamp, a lava oh. lamp. I remember it very well. Yeah. I don't think I had one as a kid. I think, you I know, didn't. Um, I wanted one, I'm sure. I'm sure I wanted a lot of things that <laughs> yeah. I didn't have. Yeah, exactly. I didn't, I didn't grow up in the family that was, if you buy half of it, we'll buy the other half. No. It was just, mm-hmm. um, I want to talk about what's on the wall. So okay. scooch over oh, just a little gosh. bit. Can you see that? I can. I might. I can't zoom in, but hopefully oh. you can see that because I'm going to do a giveaway for that. So that is a panel. It's flannel. Oh, it's a it? flannel panel. It, it looks f- like it should be flannel given the content. Right. And so this is a pattern that came with it and it gives you different ways that you can set it. So in the pattern, they cut it up. Oh, you cut it up. You cut it up. So if you put your glasses on, <laughs> you can see like they took that. How like neat. this is the truck with the you know so and then put other things so i'm gonna i have the panel and the instructions and i'm giving it away i got it from my friend jenny she was cleaning out some stuff and i said i'll take it and give it away okay and it can go to the uk because i had good luck mailing my lava blo- block you did because it was in an envelope oh i wasn't sending okay. a package so okay. this can fit in an envelope because when that folds down, it'll just be kind of a fat envelope, yeah. but it's not a package. So nice. the, the keyword, leave a comment in the YouTube stuff and um, tell me what you're thankful for and use the word thankful. And I will use the YouTube picker thinger and, um, and get a winner. So I was going to look on my calendar to say when the when the, it would be over. So let me just, why don't you talk about something <laughs> I'll well, figure out a date. Um, I will I will confess because the last time I was here I was about to take my and now I talked about it on our Naughty Knitwoods podcast, but I am a uh sewing class dropout. That, you tried. I did try, that just didn't work out for me. Yeah. You tried. But I, I found out from some people that there are um there are quilts that you can do that you don't have to line things up really closely. You don't have to have these seams matching and stuff. So my sewing machine has been temporarily put in a timeout. Okay. <laughs> it's put away, which I realize once you put it away, you're not as likely to. But it was giving you frustration. Yeah. So yeah. now and you I, know how to use it, though. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah. I could come over and like yeah. give you a refresher or something. <laughs> it's. I mean, there's the potential is, is there for future sewing um, things. Somebody, I just saw someone on Instagram that had done some really cool, like just, it just looked so much easier, Mm -hmm. not easier per se, but like not as precise, Mm -hmm. not as much precision involved. And I thought I should pull my sewing machine up, but I've got enough knitting projects right now that I'm kind of into all that. And I think that it sounds like the teacher really like emphasized the, um, precision which it does but you get better with right. time yeah. it's like you're not going to be perfect your first quilt so. i think the thing that really alarmed me was when she said that like i i had struggled to get these ones i mean i only in the class got one strip of them done and she said well i'll say that these are okay but if it was the other instructor this oh, wouldn't be okay and i was thinking <laughs> way to kill the it's, buzz man it's not going to get any better than this right i'll be thankful if i can even get it half as lined up and some of it's the way your machine just sews yeah i think it was you me. can have it I all mean, it lined was... up and because of the way if it doesn't feed exactly even it could push mm-hmm. you off i mean that's very very yeah. much could be what happened I think that was it. I think that was it. <laughs> so we'll give you some tips to make that. Yeah. Okay. So use thankful in a comment. Tell me what you're thankful for because we're approaching that season. We are. Right? I'm so happy. <laughs> I know the summer's going to be uh, over. I know people love summer. And I like the lightness of summer. I just don't like the hot of summer. Right. When my kids were in school, I loved summer because I liked, yeah. especially when they were I home. homeschooled them. It was like, oh, good. Now we can just not deal with all that stuff. And we can, you know, so it was like a, a break. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I loved that. But 
Yeah, the yeah. heat of summer is not. Like the and the other summer. thing too, we don't. Where I at my home, you know, we have lots of property that we don't water and stuff. But we we have a grass yard that we have for our dogs to be in, and we don't water it in the summer. We're on a well, and we don't want to run out of water. So it's all brown and dirt now, and mm-hmm. it's just depressing. It is, and now everything feels it's crispy. Like in the desert and well, not that fact, the desert's bad. I mean, but but it but it you expect it to look like it's that. Supposed to, yeah, we're exactly. Very, we're normally very green here. In yes. fact, we were supposed to go camping, and then we had the heat wave yes. where we were like 105 or 10 for or, several days. For several days, happened to be the several days we were supposed to be camping. And we were camping where we didn't have plug-ins, so we had no air conditioning, no way to run a fan unless it was battery-operated. And we're like, you know what? That's just going to be miserable. So we pivoted because we were camping with another family, and their daughter came in from out of town and wanted to go camping with us. And we're like, what if we just rent a cabin up on the mountain, and then we can still be together, do all the games and all that kind of stuff, but um, not have to sit in uncomfortable temperatures. And it was still in the 90s up there, which is wow. really hot for the mountain. But we had a good time. And, you know, like I said, you, you learn to, to pivot. <laughs> and at least if you could have air movement. And, yes. Um, and we sat, they had, had a great deck, and we just put the fans. We, brought, well, we all brought fans, and we just put fans on the deck to keep the air moving. And then you were in the shade, and it was comfortable. Plus, we went to the lake. We went to Timothy Lake one day. And oh, fun. Played in the lake and stuff. So, yeah, it was No, it I'm was glad good. that you guys found somewhere else to go. Yeah, it was a really nice cabin. Okay, the huh. weirdest thing. So, it was an Airbnb, and... You couldn't weren't supposed to check in till four o'clock, which is such so stupid. <laughs> You're yeah, like, I'm I mean, paying almost, for the it's day. It's bedtime by then. <laughs> the day's almost over, and you could not unlock the door with the keypad until four o'clock. We oh, got there geez. 15 minutes early, oh, so we were God. only 3:45, and we're like, we can't get in. What the heck? Is it the wrong code? And we kept oh. trying, and we weren't sure. And and my friend was trying to contact the management company or whatever, and nothing. And at, right at four o'clock, we tried it, and it opened up. Oh my god! I'm like, really? We couldn't get in 15 minutes early. Wow, <laughs> so dumb. Anyway, we had a good time. Good. Excellent. We had a good time. Okay, why don't you so, show something? What? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, okay. because I'm about to throw you under the bus. Do you have it done yet? I do! <laughs> it's not blocked, That's but okay. it's done. And it's in my new chipette basket. And this, A lot has happened since lot. the last time I was here, <laughs> let me tell you. I mean, some good happened. things have happened. <laughs> this was Thor's yes. gray or Thor's plaid or something, and this is named after our friend Jen, who's in our sewing group. Her great Dane is great, and his name is Thor. Oh, cool. And so I had to get Thor's gray or nice. Thor's plaid or whatever I was lamenting it. a tiny bit. Not really, because remember when last time I was here... Carrie had her little chip at, and I was like, I want one of those so bad. You know, would, would you just make some so I can buy one? And I'm sure because I complained, not really. I'm but, sure it was all because um, of you. He did. But look at how he matches the plaid. I mean, he does such a good job. So look my at first all the one, lines, like he matches oh, he knows all how that. To, yeah. He knows how to do he it. To do he it. does such a good job. I wanted to show just really quick. This is my original, which was a prototype. He's making them a little bit bigger, oh, which okay. is nice. Yeah. So when you get it, and if you've seen me with this, these are now just a smidge bigger because this was his first okay. prototype one. So, um, yeah, I have a couple now. They're my favorite. I love it. So this was my first one. Oh, I need to go get that. Okay. And I was very excited to to get that. And I bought two on accident because (laughs) I was just overly excited. And so then I was like, no, go ahead and just send me the one because I have to let someone else get one too. I can't have all the chipettes myself. (laughs) But I knew that if he listed more at a future date, I would be completely down with that. So this was my first one. And then, yes, he did another shop update. And I had seen this one, which I just loved. I I actually tried to buy that one, but it wouldn't go into my cart. So in a panic, I was like, well, I have to get, you know, I don't want him to sell out. So I got this one, which, of course, is perfectly awesome because it's dark blue. I love it. And one of the things I just love... About it. I know his new snaps. These snaps are just the best. It's got their logo on it's it. So cute. So we're talking about the baskets that you can get on fiberhustle.com. So Chip is the sewer of Fiber Hustle, 
Erin is the dyer of Fiber Hustle, so they have hand dyed yarn, which I will show because I've purchased some. I have my, this is my first chip. Um, Look at it, which goes so well. It's I mean, awesome. <laughs> it's, it's nice to have a, a little diversity with, you know, I've got that. They all go nicely <laughs> together. It's, uh, and I have this one in a smaller size of that. So this will go perfect in mine, <laughs> yeah. which has got another project in it downstairs. And Chip, when you list more, you just know that I'll be there buying one. <laughs> just to, just text Michelle when you're you ready totally to list, should. and then um, she'll be sure to just buy them. It's actually funny because my timing, or their timing, his timing, someone's timing has been really good because I just happen to... Like, I'm not on my phone constantly. If I get a notification or something, but I, I'm not, like, constantly on Instagram or anything. But, you know, sometimes when I pick up my phone to see whatever, I'll just I'll just open it. Just, yeah. You know, whatever. I just did that day. And the thing that popped up was their post about more chipettes. And I was like, <laughs> I looked at the time, and I was like, oh, that's only been a few minutes ago. I can still I get was, one. I know. And I was really glad because I got this one, which... That's okay, when so you got this one. That's right? when I got yes. yeah at the same time. Which hello, <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> that's totally you. Yeah. So I have a few. I my next one's going to be a big one. Yeah. I need to get a big one. I do love. I need to have the whole size. family of them. Yeah. I this don't think one. I'd want one smaller than this um, because I tend to like this. This fits my two. This is his great. large size, I think. And so I have several projects that can be assigned to this bag. But anyway, yeah. it's all fun. So it was so holding, yeah. Case. So back yes. to back to our cowl. Yes, uh, the that chit looks chat so good. cowl. Oops, looks like one of my ends. It's the knit chat cowl oh. by Chit Chat Knits. I missed oh. a couple ends that that. when I was I weaved in all my ends and trimmed them except those two. I wove in my ends, but I haven't blocked yet, so I haven't trimmed mine. You're forgiven. Thanks. Um, this is Desert Vista Dye Works. Founding Mothers is the colorway. It's so good. I mean, the colors just striped really good in they this. They did. Yeah, yeah, they did. It is such a fun, it's a really it fun It is pattern. a fun knit. And to be, to give me some credit, I basically knit this twice. You sure did. <laughs> <laughs> so I knit mine and got to the point where you're supposed to do the bottom ribbing and I was off 30 some stitches my center had moved like I don't know what I did so I ripped it out and started over so I did it again which I just finished last night Look so at how it much will be blocked now, right this is they're different yarns but the, it'll be about do, the same they do grow quite a bit when yeah they... so it hasn't been blocked and this I can't pronounce this yarn I don't know what it's on on, on live maybe Oh, it's online. It looks like I that's what know. it says. I don't it's know. It's yarn that I picked up at a yarn shop in Bend when we were over I there. I love the colors, the blue and yeah. black. Yeah, it's really subtle sh striping, so yeah. it's not, but it's real pretty. I'm like definitely it. in a blue phase, which you'll I, see. Oh. Yes. Oh, good. I'm going through a blue phase right now, and last year was pink, so this year's oh. blue. You're like that... Um, What's that thing that everyone talks about? The color of the year. The color the, of the year. It's who are yeah. those people? Pantone, Pantone. Pantone. Which do you know what next year's color is? Oh. Cracked pepper, which is like a soft gray, soft Boring. black. I I'm mean, I'm sorry. Like I love, I love a good neutral, but you everything's going to be black now. <laughs> I mean, I, I love black. I do. I'm I was excited because this year was magenta. Or was that yet I last year? That one. I don't know. I mean, I like the colors I like. I know. I'm not very, I'm not in vogue at all. I'm not. No, I'm not either. <laughs> you know. Honestly, I'm good to get out of my sweatpants. I don't really care. I have a bra on because I left the house. <laughs> in fact, the other day, um, my husband's, someone that he used to work with was, they. he and his wife were headed to Astoria and contacted us and said, hey, we're headed to Astoria implying can we come by and, and we're both just like we're gonna be we're going right by <laughs> you mean come to our house you mean like i have to get dressed like come inside <laughs> and so yeah i i put on a bra i didn't put on any makeup though. well thank you for putting on a bra i'm sure they appreciated it yeah yeah <laughs> i get it that's really pretty okay so this when we went so okay so back to the camping trip okay. that didn't happen and then we did the cabin thing look a cabin is still camping no uh, yeah 
It had beds and showers. I and, don't care. And it's, dishwasher and <laughs> it's still it's still not, camping. It's out in the woods. It's a house in the woods. Anyway. Okay. So we were going to go and, you know, we're going to do camping. No, that's going to get canceled. So we missed a day. We, our trip was shortened by a day because of when we could get the house. And so she's my friend was like, come over. And the girls want to do crafts. Now, their girls oh. are in their 20s. They're adults. And I said, okay. So I packed up a whole bunch you of, like, what kind of crafts do you want? Know? Because I have everything. And so Carrie she's. the traveling craft store. <laughs> So I brought yarn. I brought, she goes, how about watercolors? Yep, I got watercolors. I'll bring watercolor paper. And, and how about, you know, all this other stuff. So what I decided to do with watercolors oh was gosh. just watercolor on fabric. Just to see. Just who, like you do. You just like think you do. one day, just to I'm just going to watercolor do. the fabric. Um. <laughs> I've always wanted to see if it would work. So it did. And so my thought was to do sort of abstract and then define it with embroidery now i don't embroider and i have a little pamphlet somewhere with different embroidery stitches and i can't find it to save my life it looks to me like you're embroidering well i did a back stitch is so this is just the beginning so i'm i thought i would do like a couple shades of each color and then like define the stems and and we'll see it could be something that just ends up in the garbage oh but it I was not it's fun. so funny when you're talking to someone and I probably am guilty of this with my knitting because I feel like I can knit, you know. And so when I'm talking about something that I think is pretty simple, I might be like, oh, well, this is, you know, just whatever. But to someone who doesn't do that, they're like, oh, wow, that's really cool. Well, that's how I feel with this. It's like, wow, you painted onto fabric, number one. That's amazing. <laughs> you just go, and then. Um, I mean, it wasn't hard. <laughs> no. Okay. I took a watercolor class years ago and. It was very challenging. <laughs> well, it is very challenging on paper and stuff. And that's why I thought, we'll see what it does on fabric. So I did find that if I sprayed the fabric, and this fabric is fabric that is meant for dyeing. So it doesn't have, excuse me, doesn't have like um, starch or sizing like or anything on it. Like you dye your fabric too? Yes. Like when I've done the ice, the dyeing, ice dyeing and stuff. Okay. Yeah. So I thought, well, this will take the color pretty good okay. now i don't know if the color would stay on if i washed it probably not oh, i might do an really? experiment i don't know i don't know if it's permanent or not oh, but it's you know for just like let's just try and do something that's what i did that's awesome that's really <laughs> so cool. we'll see if i finish it i love the look of watercolor i do too it's really i do too and i did take a couple classes through pcc one year and 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 I was getting decent at it and then I just stopped doing it and it's just like anything else if you don't practice it you just kind of lose it I sucked I was never great I, I was never improved <laughs> I never like loved what I did but it was like it was good enough yeah you know what I mean I'll show you I some don't know stuff when other done. people do it it makes it look so easy and then when you try to do it and what one of my biggest roadblocks was they'd have something there like say a pear and you had to draw that. Sketch pick. it, yeah. Yeah, I can't I do can't that. draw. No. So <laughs> I, I spent 90% of the time just trying to get my pencil on the paper. Mm -hmm. And um, in fact, one time the gal was like, okay, I'll just, she, she drew it for me. <laughs> Obviously like, you can't. don't know how to I do really this. I really just can't do this. So, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's a good thing I can, there's something like knitting where other people you can are, dye the yarn. Yes, yes. And other people can write the patterns. And then I can just follow the instructions. You've dyed yarn the, before too. Um, did you ever do anything with it? Wait, wait what? You dyed a sock blank. I, I did. I did think you? I gave it to someone. Else. Okay. <laughs> you loved and it so much. No, it was. And it was supposed to be, it wasn't like, oh, here, just have this. It was like I wanted to give someone something that, that I That you made. made, yeah. And I did dye a skein of yarn. Do you remember, in fact, they're in Scapoose, something about a rock, I think. Um, socks that rock. Mm -hmm. uh, Blue moon, Blue moon Fiber Blue moon Arts, Fibers. and they have the Socks That Rock yes. is one now of their bases. I assume they're still in business. Yeah. I don't see their stuff anymore, but they had had, and I don't know if they still do this, but like, oh crap, nobody ever calls me. I'm so sorry. Um, oh, Jamaica's oh, calling. Oh, Jamaica's calling. Excuse me. I know this is legit. Let me turn that off. <laughs> the Prince of Jamaica's calling. Yes. You better answer I have that. context that you don't even know about. Um... <laughs> 
they did this annual thing where they would open up their property mm-hmm. and you could come and like dye yarn. And that was the stuff. first time I dyed. With that's what no got kidding. me hooked. Really, is I went okay. on one of her dye days and happened to be on my birthday, and I'm like, I'm gonna treat oh. myself, and I was like, and Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah, it made me realize I don't, I don't dye yarn. Because I loved it. I made brown yarn basically oh. because you know, oh, this color is pretty, and this color is pretty, and then if you keep adding the yeah, color, it just turns mud. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so anyway, so that's been my experience. I dyed the sock blank with you, and I dyed a skein of yarn up there, which I don't even know what I did with that skein of yarn. It's um, long gone. That's long probably gone, yeah. But, um, <laughs> probably donated. Anyway, probably to something. What's this? Well, I'll get to it. Okay. I know. I do the same thing to you, though. There's no order. We can, I mean. Yeah, no, no. There's so no order. We're you just, want to talk about it, so yeah. I can just do it. Because you're She has you're it the on the table, and I'm like, oh, yes. no. That's good. Well. She swatched. I, I did do a swatch. She swatched. Which is absolutely a miracle. Good job, Pat. Let me get a little Thank you. <laughs> um, I had asked, I think it's on really Instagram, soft. I had put out a question of, I wanted to do a cardigan. I wanted to knit a cardigan that had, and I didn't even know what this was called, but, uh, um, and I don't, now I don't remember, remember. but it's where the, um, where the band is integrated, maybe. Oh, right. Is is that the I think that's what it was. Yeah. So an integrated button band so that you don't have to finish your entire sweater and then go back and add this button band because that's a pain. And so I had, I had put the question out and a lot of people, and I wanted it to be DK weight and I don't think I had a lot of other criteria. I mm-hmm. was looking for DK weight, and I wanted it to have, have the integrated. Have that. Yeah. And so I got lots of lots of uh, input. Some of them were actually DK. <laughs> a lot of them were other <laughs> weights, which was fine. I compiled a list. And if you're interested in the list, um, you can send me a message on um, on Instagram or you. Yeah, just send me a message. I'll put her Whatever. the link to her Instagram account in the description uh, below. Because I made a document with all the links to these patterns but anyway so i had finally decided on one i was going to do the field day cardigan and so yes and i had i had dk weight yarn in i had three skeins of this charming you it's a silk merino base that's why it's so soft in dk is what i had and i had three in this pretty top color here and three in this bottom color but she doesn't carry this base anymore. Oh. And I really like this base. Yeah. And I have six skeins of it total. So I'm like... Okay. Not quite enough. Not quite enough. But I also had this McMullen. Yeah, McMullen. It's a silk base also. It, it's fingering weight. But they did this thing at least once. I don't know if they do it frequently. But once a year where they'd pick one or two of their colorways and make sweater quantities available for like twenty dollars a skein oh, wow. for a silk base wow yeah so i had jumped on that you know a few years ago and bought five skeins of this which is fingering weight which is fingering weight and so i've had all this yarn just sitting around and it occurred to me one day that these three could fade now, I didn't really. I didn't me. do a swatch fading. It's just color blocked because I wanted to see if. So this middle one is the fingering weight held double. Yeah. And if oh, you, held double. Held double. Okay. So yeah. If you feel that it, it feels the same. It's fine. Even it's you like, looking at the stitches, they look. Yeah. The, the yarn looks the same. It matched up. Perfect. Great. The colors go really like yeah. they just kind of. Know if you can see. Do well together. So I did that swatch for that field day cardigan. I cast on. I was like, okay, I was getting going on it. And then somebody sent me a picture of the Mayberry or Mayberry, Mayberry. I say Mayberry because I grew up with, you know, Mayberry. Mayberry. <laughs> um, but Cardigan by Amy Loudon, the little Taylor S. Mm-hmm. And it is It was a new pattern, wasn't a it? A new okay. pattern. She would released it shortly after I had put this call to arms out (laughs) and anyway I looked at it and I was like oh it's nice but I've already cast on this other one and plus I bought another pattern another cardigan pattern that had the integrated button band and and it was really cute but then when I got it it was like oh my gosh this is so complicated oh it's like pages and pages and and I just I was kind of overwhelmed by it so yeah I um 
didn't do that. But this one, this one by Amy, the little terrace, it's using, it's doing, it's all in fisherman's rib. Oh. Which I'd never done before. Which makes it really squishy. Oh, it's so squishy. It's just yeah. like brioche. It is. But not, you know. Yeah. And so it's, I, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Don't knock the, so you see that? Yeah. So. And you're doing okay doing the, the ribbing going back and forth? You do. Oh, yeah. yeah. No problem. It's, it's so fun. I just love I love the squishiness of this. It's yeah. just great. So that is... Um, and it's got the integrated... It's got the integrated band. The band. It starts very... It's kind of a unique start. I've okay. never started... Um, it. You basically start with this band and you go and you do a provisional... No, you don't even do provisional cast on. It's, um, you know how you sometimes start toe up socks yeah well i've only done a couple oh yeah. So, yeah well it's anyway it was kind of like i don't remember what it's called but anyway you go one direction then you go the other direction and then you you just do this magical stuff and then you have a sweater started so and poof you have a sweater you started. have poof you have a sweater started <laughs> i love this pattern like, good it's just really fun it's really and that's dk that's yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm seriously loving this whole fisherman's rib thing. Okay. Yeah, because I it lo looks really pretty. It I mean, those no stitches. So yeah, it's really squishy. It's like, and so it's kind of nice because it kind of I want to say it kind of opens up the yarn a little bit, so it's it's not gonna be as like heavy. Mm -hmm. It you know what I mean? It's yeah, like it because just, it'll kind of like once you block this, it'll probably block more like that yeah i almost wish i'd gone down a needle side i know i don't yeah, know it's kind of blue. that's okay yeah. you can you can talk that can i <laughs> yeah i have dogs <laughs> i think I know. that was a dog thing or it could have just been a neat you know sometimes your needle just will poke through especially when you have like a silk blend it seems like that stuff just seems to oh really you think I, the silk does more uh, I, maybe that's purdy I like it. I so, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna Are you gonna try and fade? I, I am mean, gonna fade. There's a big difference between these I two. I know that was the that was kind of the like like ideally I would love to do the whole sweater in this color, but she doesn't offer this base anymore, oh. and so I can't get more of this color. I I was like so close to just ordering a bunch of wool folk, mm. you know, because I love 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 that one wool folk. Yarn. Yeah, but that's a bulky yarn. Well, they have a DK weight okay. that's that same, same kind of stuff, stuff okay. as this stuff. And I was really, like, you know, like, insanely thinking about it. It was going to be several <laughs> hundred dollars. I'm like, that's insane. Yeah. Like, that's really Like, crazy. you would never buy a sweater for I that. I would never no. buy a sweater that expensive. <laughs> no. And especially, like, once I get started on this and then, you know, my dog's nail gets caught on it. I'm like... Or somebody shrinks it in the in the dryer. <laughs> yes. uh, or you know, I mean, anything could happen. Anything could happen. It's just you know, you kind of get on those like you can talk yourself into pretty much anything. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. There's you all can. kinds of, like I deserve this. Yeah. I haven't bought yarn in I, a while. I knew I didn't deserve it, but I could totally still justify it because I am so good at justifying anything. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so fortunately, I talked myself off that ledge really You're just wanted work to with use what you have. I have so much yarn in my yarn stash and i've always talked about i've got so much fingering that i could totally do dk yep. stuff with yeah and so i'm just i'm just gonna That's do what you're it gonna do. And it's not like i'm not entering this into something to try to win some golden prize you just want to wear it. it i just would like a, yeah i'd like to actually wear something that i knit mm -hmm. which i usually don't so I think um, that's going to feel so nice that you're going to want to so. be in it all so. the time. And then if I perfect, like I do this and it goes really well and I like how it fits and all you of that. You just make a bunch. I could make another one. In all one. kinds of colors. Yeah. Then you can buy yarn. Maybe. <laughs> we'll just see how it goes. But that is a good idea because like we've talked about before, you know, we have all these single skeins. Yes. But if you striped or or did a fade or whatever and you just hold it double, you could yeah. use up all that fingering yeah. weight yarn. That's going to be really pretty. I, do, I agree with you that because this is so much different than yeah. this one. Um, but I don't really like super care. Yeah. Like, again, sure, I would love it if it was all one color, mm -hmm. one plain color. I love buying all the variegated yarns and stuff. But you don't want to wear it all the time. I like to wear that. Yeah. I like to wear Makes solid colors. Hard. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I'm love. I'm, oops. Uh, Throwing your balls at me. I, well, if you got balls, you might as well throw them. <laughs> There, it's by your foot. Is it awesome? Yeah. Okay. Well, you, <laughs> I'll let you pick that. Yeah. Up. I'll, 
Okay, so I'm going to show another sewing thing that I did. Okay. This is a little skinny quilt that I made. Sorry, I have that. It's, hump, it's on the hump because to get we're, over. I had to move the table back, and so the, the chair pad is like yes. right in our way. So, anyway, I made this skinny quilt with these little chubby chickens or chubby oh. birds <laughs> with the plaid. This was the plaid that Lori gave me for my birthday. So, this pattern. Oh, really? She yeah. gave you. The oh, plaids, the little, the um, little okay, plaid. what do you call those things? Fat they quarters. Were, yeah, but they're fat eighths, but yeah. Oh, okay, Yes, you're right, though. <laughs> I mean, yes. I got the word fat You did. Right. <laughs> so this, I did it off of this pattern, which is called All Cooped Up by Lamb Farm Designs. Oh. My friend Jenny designed it. Oh. And I didn't have any desire to make a wall hanging, but I thought these this that plaid just said it needed to be fat little chubby birds to me sure. so i just did it as a skinny i started off to try and make something to put on my kitchen table like a table oh, a runner. runner okay but i couldn't figure out a nice way to make the birds face different directions without it looking like birds were upside down so i decided to do it like this and she's going to use it in her booth oh. to show a different way that you can use uh, her pattern but it was really fun and i think they look really cute as they're adorable little chubby plaid <laughs> birds so that was so a, ultimately if someone was going to do that you're saying it, it would be a wall hanging this size because it's 49 by 49 it could be a kid's quilt well what about what you did there this is this is just a skinny quilt i only used five birds instead of like all those birds but i mean if someone wanted to do that what would it be a wall hanging right? oh if like, yeah if you could hang this on the wall yeah Absolutely, you can. It's it's really good to put in like little skinny places that you have to do yeah. this. Yeah, yeah. I've got some down. I've one down in my dining room that's a skinny quilt that fits okay. just perfectly. Yeah, so really yeah. Cute. So anyway, I've been working on that. Oh, I'm gonna do another giveaway. Oh, I'm gonna do another giveaway because okay. my friend Jenny gave this to me. Let me take it out of the bag so it doesn't reflect. This is just a pattern, and it's a little cross stitch pattern, and it's called pumpkin spice. And it's little, you can't see because you don't have your glasses on. I'll put them on. Don't. <laughs> so it's um, just fall, pumpkin, leaf, whatever. Just a tiny. I mean, it's still hard to see even with the It's glasses. tiny. <laughs> I know. It's really tiny. Um, it, they don't have a bigger picture. So it is just the pattern okay. with the chart. If anybody wants that, put something in the comments saying pumpkin spice because this is pumpkin spice and I will mail it to you. As, cool. And it can go to the UK. I'm all good sending an envelope. What about Canada? Yes. Okay. As long as they're not on fire and burning up. <laughs> yes. That's it can go fair. wherever. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, pumpkin spice for that one. That Lori asked me to give yeah. to you. Oh. She uh, had given me a coaster to put in my car where my water bottle goes. And she had ordered them and one got broken. And so she sent. She ordered another one. Nice. Thank you, Lori. <laughs> Okay, well, I knit um, on my last Naughty Knitwits podcast. Leslie had got some wool folk left, which is their bulky mm -hmm. weight. And this is what this is the exact yarn that I had done a turtle dove out of because this was some leftover. I forgot how much I love that yarn. Yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah, I had like two and a half skeins left from that. And so I thought I'm going to do a hat. So this is called Jason's Cashmere Hat. It's got some cute cables yeah, in it. Yeah, nice cable. Um, I did link it. Let's see if I can find. Um, well, it says on here by Melissa Thompson, but I think they have a website. It's, okay. It's something else. Like when you click on, if you click on it. Yeah, I'll put the links to everything in the description box below. M Michelle was so kind to like do all her stuff for me. Well, I know how all it I have is. to do is just. <laughs> I'll stick it in there um but anyway i just loved knitting i love cables for one thing and then this color is awesome this yarn is awesome it's just such an awesome hat i'd put That's it such on such a great color too because it's purple but not purple yeah it's super it's like rich raisin and, yeah yeah <laughs> it's so kinda like a raisin anyhow it has a big, did you long... see that they came out with the turtle dove cardigan you sent it to me oh i did and as soon as some people knit it without the mohair Ah, and figure did they use out. this with mohair? I don't think it was that, that would heavy. Be really that would be really heavy. Maybe it was a different one of their. Okay. I don't know. I didn't. I'm not sure. Mohair. 
Because um, you could probably just substitute. So speaking of substituting, we're going to go into what my next project is going to be. Oh, yeah. I'm excited to hear about this. So I'm going to make, I'm going to attempt to make a vest. Okay. So it's called the Peric. And that's the cover photo of the pattern. Nice. Okay. And so I got yarn from Fiber Hustle. This is Larkspur. Total carry color. Right? I know. It yeah. has purple in it, but there's see, I'm in that blue phase. Yes. Well, that's the best for you then. since It you, is. I know. You know. And so and I, she swatched. I swatched because... The pattern calls for it's it calls for fingering weight yarn. Yeah, and the pattern says to use a size six. I know that that's too loose of a gauge for what I like with fingering weight because I feel like it makes it doesn't have enough shape structure, to it. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't have enough structure. And I have knit a sweater using a four with fingering weight, and and I like oh you like that it on the gauge. Four. Okay. I like it on the four, so that's what I knitted on. Okay, and I did. It's knit in the round, but I did a swatch going back and forth, and then I continued with it going in the round to see if it was any different, and it's not. Oh, good. So I think I in the future, I can just go back and forth and not have to yeah. have all of this. I still have it connected to the ball because if I need this yarn, <laughs> I don't like to waste it. No. So this is how it knit up on my swatch, which I love, and... I then had to figure out what size to make because this is smaller by, I think it's three stitches per four inches, which makes a big, a difference, big difference when you're yes. making a larger size. So I think I've figured out what I'm going to do with that. I don't know if I'm going to have enough yarn because I only have three skeins, which I, I might. Good, Diane. This is Aaron's. I know. <laughs> Come on, Aaron. No, so then... <laughs> So then I'm like, oh, I might. I mean, I should, but based on what they call for in the pattern, it's going to be close. And I'm like, you don't even do sleeves. Why is it so close? So right. I don't know. Being that I'm doing a tighter gauge, I'm not sure. So I thought, I thought what I could do is I ordered. Um, this is Blueberry Ooh. Johnson. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. It's a beautiful blue, but I don't think it quite goes with that. It's there's it's yeah. just there's something a little toned down with yeah. this like it's just not quite the same beautiful color and i've got some other colors that this goes with so i thought if i need to add something i have this ink blot mm. from needles at the ready remember this one that was yes. kind of a blue yes. purple that, that would go great that looks really good with this so how would you incorporate it like, well if it's just the ribbing okay. or if i need if i feel like i'm running out because really you knit it and you don't add sleeves, you just pick this up and do ribbing. So I'll know as I get ribbing, towards the bottom, yeah. if I'm running out, I might start doing a little striping or something oh, down okay. at the bottom okay. and then put ribbing or, but this will go together just fine. So um, nice. I waited until I finished my knit chat cowl. Good, good. Trying to finish some things. I knit something else that I can't show quite yet. So um, I have been doing stuff. I just, you know. I'm not the taskmaster. <laughs> what are you looking at me for? Because I didn't want to be shamed. <laughs> now, I, I, not in a shaming sort of way, but I'm just curious because it was something that was on my list. Yes. That thing that I don't know how to say. Um, that very um, lacy cardigan. The hitch of Yes. So that hit to feud hit, sweat. Hit, hit the feud hit day. Hit day. Um, it's still needs the last repeat to be done okay. which is like 16 rows times like 50,000 stitches, stitches. Yeah. so um i'm close okay. i don't even know if it fits i haven't even pretended to try it on okay. and it's all lace so it looks really small but i think it's going to be fine i know i need i know no i no i, I know it. but it's true I, th I think about that and every time i want to cast on something new it's like if you just finished that <laughs> No, it's totally... But you know that v Vitas shawl thing that I was doing with all the different stripes and stuff with that really super soft... I'll find it on here. Okay. I almost brought it, but I haven't worked on it, and it's oh, nothing same like... Thing. like oh. your Like size-wise yeah. of yours. But I'm that close. I'm so close to having it be finished, but I just... I haven't wanted to work on it. Well, we're going to go away for our anniversary. We were supposed to go to Canada... We canceled that trip because of all the fires and smoke. And actually, 
We were supposed to spend a couple of days in Kelowna, which is now all on fire, and they're evacuating people and stuff, which is what some of our smoke was from the other day. Oh. And, um, which is horrible. So we we're glad that we decided to do something different. Um, so we're just going to go to Sun River for a week, which is in Central Oregon, which is filled, all the smoke is filtering right there. I mean, nothing right there is on fire, but all the smoke seems to be going there. So. We're still going to go, and it's like, well, we may just stay in the house, and we were going to, like, bring our bikes, and we're going to ride our bikes, and we're going to hike, and we may yeah. just sit in the house. So I'll have a lot of knitting time <laughs> if it's really crappy. We'll still go away. It's a vacation. It's a lovely house. We love Sun River. Even if we go out in the morning, maybe mornings won't be as bad or something. And so I am going to bring my hit to few day okay. because I, I know that once I get it done, whether it fits or not, it's going to be one of those weights off my shoulder. Yes. Like it's done. I'm not go feeling guilty that it's over there. You could totally throw bubbles in my face. <laughs> and I, you know, because I have that bubbles cardigan. Yeah. That I'm, you're so close. I'm so close. You're so, it's the same kind of thing. It's the same kind of it thing. It takes a lot of concentration and it goes really slow because of what you're doing. And, and I don't love it. Like, I, oh, you know, see, like. I think I'll wear it. I would wear it. You finish it for me. Maybe no. that will happen. I just don't know. It's like I almost have a grudge against it now. Like, oh. like, like probably if I pulled it out and just started working on it, some of the love would return. But right now, I just feel like. Do you think it was because of the stitch pattern? Like it took so long that you just sort of lost. I got burned out on it because it's just been going on for so oh. long. If I had stayed focused on it, mm -hmm. <clears throat> then maybe not so much. But I, you know, I you, think you when I, I think I started burning out on it when it started to get really long. Because you did one. Not a bubble. No, oh, I hit okay. a few. No, 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 no. Okay. No, I was waiting to see what yours looks well, that's like. Well, that's what I'm asking about <laughs> your thing, because I kind I of want to know about making one, but... I am i don't love to knit lace, okay. and so the, and the whole thing is lace. Okay. So that's a big struggle for me, because I'm lace, not a big so lace. So I'm going to cast on this big, huge... Did you know that yeah. you liked like to knit lace yes, when you started Yes, I did it? know. Okay. But I really liked was the look like, of the sweater. What do they call that therapy? Exposure therapy? Is that what you were doing? <laughs> I think so. Well, and it's that yarn that you gave me that's like silk and yes. camels. Oh, it's like gosh. the whole Noah's yes. Ark is in there, yes. and it's so soft. And so it's like, I think that yarn is perfect for that sweater. Okay. Because it's a very flowy, lacy, so it's a good match. I'm just not a big, I'm just not big on lace. And so I got burned out when okay. it started to have like, you know, 600 stitches or something yeah. on the needle of lace. It was just like, yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> but I will get it done because I want the sweater. Yeah. I want the sweater. Yeah. Um, hopefully if it's... <laughs> It doesn't button or anything, so it'll fit enough. Right, exactly. It it's just, just an like open, yeah. Thing. You can just pretend it wasn't meant to yeah, close over yeah. or anything. So I it's not really something you'd wear closed anyway. No, 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 I don't think so. So that's going to be one that I take on my vacation, yeah. just to make myself do it. If When I finish my Mayberry, or however you're supposed to say it. Murberry. Um... Then maybe I'll pull out that bubbles because I really would like maybe by year's end I'll get it done. Although it's almost September, I don't know. It's almost <laughs> September. I don't. Want and to you're what? And you just started a new sweater. I just, anyway, this is the shawl that I'm almost. Oh, done with. from um, North Much. Bounding. What's her name? Yeah, North, I think it's North Bounding. I could. Yes, it is Lisa Much. And I do really like it. And it's that yarn. It's that yeah. super soft cashmere silk. Yes, L heavenly yeah, or something like from Barnyard lovely. Knits. Yeah. But I just, you know, and I was gangbusters on it when I started. And this is why this is something I'm learning, and I I need to just go with it. Is when I'm working on something, if I'm enjoying it, I'm not going to say, oh, but I really need to work on this other thing. Mm. There's none of that. If you're in my opinion, for me, if I'm enjoying working on it, yes, I need to just do it because that love can fade like that. You That's know? true. I'm very fickle. Well, stuff. me too, because the shiny object, somebody comes yes. out with a new pattern or something new, and it's just like, oh, I have to do that. And sometimes you're just in the mood for a certain But then thing. I end up with all these half-done projects, and then that feels overwhelming. i got to turn the big fan on because okay. it's getting kind of warm in here. It's a little warm. So carry on. I will carry on. Um... Well, I finished, I did some socks. This is the I Feel Lucky sock pattern by Marta Chapman. I feel so lucky 
And these are Cute. Candy Shop Yarns minis that I had bought a while ago. This is such a fun, it was a really fun pattern. I, and the pattern's called what? I Feel So Lucky. I Feel So Lucky. I don't know how well you can see the patterning on it from way back yonder, but uh, it's on my Instagram. There's a close-up on my Instagram. Plus, if you look at the pattern, you'll see it. But So I did, I, I usually don't do cuff-down socks mm -hmm. because I like toe-up for a few reasons, but one of the reasons is, is I hate casting on mm. many stitches in the round because I've twisted them in the past, and that's mm -hmm. really stressful to me. But I love the tubular cast on. Okay, I, love I how haven't. That looks. I've heard people really love it. it I haven't look tried at how it. How awesome it looks! I did it on my hat too, which might be easier to see. It's such an awesome because it doesn't look like a cast on. It, it just looks it's just like, like it's like knitting just starts magically out of thin air. Do you find it hard to do? No, because okay. I'll tell you why. Okay. So what the first time I ever tried to do that cast on, it was kind of, you know. But so for this one, for the one by one ribbing, oh, they're down here. The one by one tubular cast on in the round, there is a YouTube tutorial by jo Pin C Cushion of Joy, I think. Mm. Anyway, I have it's it linked. Down below. It's called, it'll say circular tubular cast on for one by one rib. And it's, it's so easy. It's just, there's a few and steps to it, but... And it's plenty stretchy. It's super stretchy. And okay. you, so one of the ways that you do tubular, the tubular cast on is you end up with stitches on a front needle and a back needle. And then you're like knitting from here, then purling from here, knitting from here. Oh. And so that's a little tweaky. Okay. That is not at not all how you what did you that. do. Okay. This. So that's great. So the one by one is the easiest easiest to do okay i did do the other i did a two by two tubular, tubular cast okay on. and i tr and i the pattern that's didn't call yarn. for it but see that's it too isn't it awesome yes so that worked just as well it, it but this a is a this is a two by two and i had to use a different tutorial okay okay and so the first time i tried this one and i'll talk about this project in a minute but mm -hmm. the first time i tried this cast on i tried doing the one where you're like Knitting two from your front needle, purling two from your back needle. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was fiddly, but it was working. Okay. And I was like, okay, I, this is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get through this and it's gonna be okay. And I'll, by the time I do the second one, I'll, I'll be better. Except that I, um, got off one. Oh. So then I was unknitting it. Oh. And unpurling it and trying to get them back on the correct so needles. And yeah. then it just got funky and I was like, oh, forget it. I'm just going to start over. And I was going to start over, but then I tried another tutorial, and it's called the Tutorial for 2x2 two two Tubular Cast On in the Round Using Waste Yarn. Oh! And so it's really interesting, but basically you, you cast on, and you always do half the number of stitches that your pattern calls for when you're doing this tubular cast okay. on. Okay. And this is all in the tutorial, so okay. don't be taking notes. It's okay. all in the tutorials. And I am <laughs> not no I am not a good tutorial person, so like I'm like gonna to watch give, it. To now, give a but tutorial. I, yeah, I'm not yeah. gonna teach you anything. I'm just gonna right. tell you where to go. <laughs> um <laughs> and, yeah, just cracking myself it's up. It's okay. So, uh, <laughs> but anyway, so you do these you do your cast ons and then anyway, ultimately instead of knitting from a front needle and purling from a back needle, you're doing them. And then rearranging them. Oh, okay. Which sounds weird, yeah, but it's, okay. it made it so much. Like, yeah. I wasn't actually sure. So I thought, well, I'm going to try it since I, you going to sneeze? No, 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 no. Oh. I'm just curious. Oh. Go ahead. Okay. Cause so, because I'm going to do a hat that's going to need a tubular cast on. I just love how it looks so much that I'm willing to try new things for yeah. it. Yeah. And that's saying a lot because I'm not really, you are, you're a misadventurous and I'm just like, why reinvent the wheel? <laughs> But you can do some neat new things if yes. you're willing to. If just you're go willing outside. to try, yeah. yeah. If you're um, willing to try. <laughs> and so for the tubular cast on, I was willing to go outside the. So when you're doing it on waist yarn, that sounds like more like a provisional cast on. How do how do those? Well, real both stitches of them actually are on provisional cast ons. Oh, okay. So I don't know why she calls it that. Okay. It's just how she calls it. But yes, okay. you're doing both of them on. You're using. You're using um, 
this this one is also done with a provisional cast on in your traditional provisional cast on where you're taking the crochet hook and you're doing that so that's okay, how like this knitting around the crochet hook yeah. yeah this one is a provisional cast on but not like that okay. like you're still using waist yarn but you're casting on with the long tail cast on Okay. This is very interesting. Yeah. You just I'll need to have take to, my word for it. I'll have to check <laughs> Go it watch out. the videos. Just They're very the cool. Video. Oh, that's and what's in the printer. Sorry. Oh, so I'm okay. You're you're I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, totally fine. I'm used so to anyway, being back, back to these, back to my I feel so lucky socks with the candy shop yarn. Um did fish lips kiss heel and my normal I have uh, I did not link it, but if you're interested, I have I have rounded toe patterns or recipes, whatever, for both toe up and cuff down, because I like rounded toes. I don't like the ones that look like snake heads. So, um, well, I made. I think I told you when I did. This was my first. Well, is this your uh, toe up? This is my toe up on my DK socks, which I haven't okay. worked on. Oh, okay. And that ends up kind of square. A little bit. Is that how it's supposed to not look? Oh, I mean, I think it's fine. But see, my um, these were which show up. my I did these, these, these do up. fit. So see, is that? Except oh, for that see, yours is a little more rounded. Mine are definitely more rounded. And why is that? The pattern that I follow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Which I can send you the links if you're at all interested. Sure. I I might I might convert. I might. I'm gonna see. Yeah. We're gonna see. Okay. Um, I still have to finish these socks. The last time I was on here, I t said I was going to ask Michelle what I did wrong because I was doing, what was I doing? The um, OMG. OMG heel. And and she's like, I don't know, you did it so wrong, I don't even I'm know what sorry. it is. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm not just, a miracle worker, okay? You were so off that <laughs> I, I can't even help you. This isn't right. So this I just, just right. somebody suggested the shadow wrap heel, which okay. I could try. Okay. I haven't gone back to these yet. Um. Denise from Earth Tones Girls has a really good tutorial on YouTube and I actually because I was going to do it on another pair of socks and I knew and we were going to be camping and we weren't going to have internet oh. and stuff so I recorded from my phone I was watching it on my tablet on her YouTube channel and I recorded it on my phone so then I had it just in my phone that I okay. could watch her tutorial so that's what I'm going to do to finish these okay, socks cool. and finish my DK socks, and then I'm gonna be back on the sock train. Okay. And I'm gonna, but so I'm gonna try shadow wrap heel for that. Um, were you done? I was done with these socks. With the socks. So you were talking about. I'm the not two. done with everything. No, no, no. I think that's because question. I'm Are almost you done, done talking because I've you got done, things. You're to done say. because I'm gonna forget what I was yeah, gonna so say. It's all yours, baby. <laughs> So you were talking about the tubular cast on, which yes. I'm really glad yes. you mentioned that because, and I'll put a picture of the pattern. So I'm going to make this, okay, put your glasses on. All right. right? Cool. Isn't that cool? Cool Haas. Cool Haas. It's by Jared Flood. And I got, this is um, Cherry Blossoms from Fiber Hustle. This is 100% Targi. And it feels so nice. And I think this is going to show this pattern yes. so well. But it has a tubular cast on. Oh, okay. So nice. I've never done that. So I'm anxious to try your tutorials. Your tutorials. Yes. Yeah, the, the links that Is you it had. a one by one or a two by two? Do you know if it starts? Because that does make a difference. Like the okay, one by one which, is the easiest. Depending on which one I, I pick. I mean, which one I use. Is that what you mean? Like, well, which? I mean, are they telling you to start your hat with two it. by two rib ribbing or one two by, by two rib? Okay, it says. so but I could probably do whatever. Well, no, I think I have to follow because it goes into yes. that design. Like the ribbing <sighs> goes into the design. That was something like with this one. I ended up just doing the one by one because I wasn't my headspace. I just didn't want to do the other thing, and it really didn't work ideally for. How for it, how it lines up with the pattern. Up. But it doesn't matter for me because I was I'm gonna have it like this anyway. Yeah. But Okay, um, so I'll follow your two by two or I'll at least look at it. I yeah. think the pattern I'll read it a pattern. Yeah, maybe <laughs> think, he has a link. For I think it. they do have special techniques, two by two cast on. So it shows that you can click Oh, oh, oh look at that. 
How to knit ribbed cabled cast oh cabled cast on. Cabled cast on. That's one by yeah, one. Yeah, that's not the same I don't know. As we'll figure it out. But the pattern looked pretty cool. Yeah. I asked my friends on my Thursday knit night. I'm gonna have worsted weight, because I think this is worsted. Yeah, this is worsted weight, three play, hundred percent targi. Um what would you knit? And like three or four people in the group all at the same time said this pattern. Really? I'm like, okay. Just because it, it'll because show up so nicely. It, and with... it's a fun pattern to okay. do. And I think this is going to show, because of the plumpness and the, and the makeup of the yarn, is going to show those one, they're like one by one cables or something that okay. are in it that make that design. So nice. that's the plan. Well, Stand. that'll be fun. And will you wear that? Or are you when it's cold okay yeah when I go for walks with yeah. with violet in the morning I wear a hat yeah and I usually have um, a fingering weight hat because that's generally what I'll wear but there's days when it's super cold and oh, I wished yeah. I had something a little bit warmer so yeah and when we go camping if it's cold I'll wear a hat hats so, are good hats are good. hats are good and this is such a pretty color it is <laughs> it's very pretty I couldn't resist I like it couldn't resist Okay, go ahead. Okay, so I started to show this. This is... Um, and you have to talk about that. I will. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, I'll talk about that now because I'm actually <laughs> using it. This is an Abacus row counter um, from... It's linked. I got it off Etsy. In fact, the little name of the shop's probably... Yes. Right on there, does it say? It's Green Owl. Green Owl. Yeah, okay, so they have a website Farm that says something? one thing, but then their Etsy shop is called something else. So it's cool. Just, um, I like it. And this is like leather cording or something, so they're not sliding they're not real slipping. easy. Yeah. yeah, and they give instructions on if it, if it gets to where they're sliding too easy, you can do something. But you wax it or something. Uh, one of the things about this pattern, oh. I don't usually print my patterns when I am knitting because I use Knit Companion. But on my cardigan, she did this tick sheet for doing your, because sometimes you have increases for your raglan, sometimes you have increases for your for um, the front for, for the, the front thing. Yeah. So, Anyway, it's so nice to have this little thing to check off your where you're at mm -hmm. on the pattern. Mm -hmm. And this... And you can't do that on Knit Companion? Does that show up in Knit Companion? I have no idea. Okay. I mean, I think it would show up somehow. I'm just wondering, like, if it would work. But this I works, really too. I really didn't try it on Knit Companion because I just thought this is easier for yeah, me to... sure. And then... And then to, keeping track of... To keep track here. It's just... It's working good for me. Good. So, but yeah, I just, I thought that was just so cute. I like yeah. abacuses, but yeah. I don't know what you'd use one for. So right. This no, is that's cool. a good way to, because that's very visual too. To, it's to like you quick don't have, visual. Yes, yes. Yeah. And it's not going to reset. Right. It's not going to, batteries gonna aren't going to go down. <laughs> you can totally just glance at it, see where you're at. And um, so, yeah, so that's. So this is for your cardigan. This is for the cardigan. Okay. And. Oh. So whose yarn is this? Because that's so, okay, it's so kind of Halloween yarn, looking. It's to very, me. it's Halloween looking. It is by oh, the sun's coming out. Uh, Fiber Nymph Dye Works. Oh yeah, it's Hallow Pie, but it's not like super in your face Halloween. No, oh. I decided to do these fingerless mitts because I oh. do those a lot when I'm walking the dogs uh -huh. too when I'm yeah. out doing stuff, and that is by. Jen Yard, the same gal that did nothing here. Um, <laughs> Something you've done in the past. She was the one that did those, the sock pattern that used the little granny squares. Oh, that I right. Didn't like how, yeah. Yeah, it, yeah. It just didn't work it for me. It just didn't so. work for you. But she had the this cute finger, because there's a, I mean, there's tons of fingerless mitt patterns. In fact, I have one in a worsted weight I was going to do, but this one happened to be a fingering weight. And I had started this yarn is what I was going to do this oh. chit chat cowlin, but the some of the stripes were too narrow, and so oh, it's just going to look so they're, un, they're uneven stripes. They're uneven stripes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. See, like where you have the skinny stripe, if yeah. you stretch that over that much, it would be like yeah. Of. So I started this. Let's see, my little ghost is anything. I know it's cute. It's holding a pumpkin. Um, <laughs> I started these, was really excited to do this, the tubular cast yeah. on, you know. 
Well, it wasn't until after I got started that I realized the pattern is actually supposed to be three by one ribbing. Oh. And I had specifically gone through all of this to do the two by two because I thought that's what the pattern said. Otherwise, I would have just done the one, one by, by one, one and then made, turned it into three yeah. by one. Yeah. But at this point, I was like, oh, I'm just going to leave it. Mm -hmm. Two by two is fine. Two by two is fine. It'll be fine. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, it's it's... I had had this yarn in my stash for a long time, and I've been feeling the whole fall. Like fall's going to come pretty it's, soon. I love those colors. Yes. I love that theme kind of thing. So I like that Halloween um, combination. As where it's not just like, like really intense orange and black, yeah. and, you know, that's got... Some nice, it's just kind of more fall. I just ordered some minis. In fact, they might be here soon because, of course, I'm gonna have to do some socks, some Halloween socks. And I went through, I was looking through my patterns on my computer the other day, and I wrote down a, a bunch of different sock patterns that I already have the pattern for oh. that I just always because you like about. doing pattern socks. Um, I like there to be something, something. to it. Yeah, See, I, I like just vanilla. get bored. I'm plain I vanilla. I so bored and so easy. <laughs> I'm uh, rainbow yeah. sherbet everywhere else, but my yes, socks, that I'm funny. plain vanilla. <laughs> and really, for most of my knitting, I'm plain vanilla. <laughs> I like anything where the pattern changes. Yes. You know, where there's different stitch patterns for things, because mm -hmm. that, to me, is just more fun. Mm -hmm. And so several of these patterns for socks that I have are... See, so I have those coming. Oh, those see, fun. that's more like Halloween. Yeah, I think that'll be fun. Though. It'll be fun. I don't know if you can see yeah, that, that'll but, be fun. Yeah. That'd be cute if you did, if you found something or even just, excuse me, chart it out and do color work somewhere where the white was ghosts. Oh, yeah. Well, I have a pattern. I did it a couple, several Halloweens ago of a black cat around the top oh but maybe i should find a ghost one because that would be cute be kind of cute yeah just for something different and they fit okay because like color work yeah. can be oh yeah tricky oh and so tricky on socks i have i have a couple of really pretty one socks uh <laughs> where i've done this really cool color work but they just don't fit right so yeah uh, is that all you're knitting that's all my knitting I just because I can't more. show the other thing I, oh. that I made. But I'm going to, when I got this from Fiber Hustle and it didn't work with my vest that I'm going to do, I already had these colors from Fiber Hustle and it goes with I love this, this one. Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness. Oh my gosh. Right? That is awesome. It's so pretty. This is be really pretty as a sweater or something. Something. So I have that, and I thought, well, that could go that goes as really, like a that goes shop. really good. It goes really yeah. well. So this is Blueberry Johnson. This is Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness, and then I got this one too, which is What Did You Do to the Walls? And I thought that goes good too. Cause it that's does. Got all those like. Like, but not like you yeah, think. Look, I mean, she's hesitating. No, because were, were you thinking all three of these? No, 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 no. Oh, well, I'm like, it could this, go with this either. This is my favorite. I Well, so. that doesn't surprise me. No, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. But I think this would make a pretty sweater, too. I but, think it would be pretty. But I don't. I only have one skein. <laughs> I'm not that little. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. I might, I might put that with, I'm not sure. Kevin just awesome. with this. Those, those two go awesome. These two go awesome. And Kevin um, from Needles at the Ready just did a Zorzel shawl with a navy blue, and he has a color called Ghost Water, and it's just a faint, really faint sort of aqua blue kind of Ooh. color. It is so striking. They are tonal, so they're not very. They don't have any very. It is so striking, and I thought I don't have a blue one of those. <laughs> Do you so, have another know. color one of those? I do. You did I, that? Uh-huh. Oh. I love it. I've done it. I did one for Lori. Um, I did. It was out of teal and red. Huh. I don't know if you remember. So I, I did one for myself. I did one for Lori. It's a great shawl. It's a fun okay. shawl to do. It's a oh. crescent shaped. 
And then I put tassels because it shows it with tassels and they are kind of fun tassels to have on fun. there. It's a really easy shawl to wear oh, because okay. of the shape. You don't, right. it just like goes on and there's, nice. and because it's crescent, you don't have that feeling like you're wearing a bib. Yes. Which I'm not okay. super fond of. I'm not either, but I didn't know that crescent was the key thing to look for. So it's more, that. it's more like a, a little bit yeah. deeper of a, of a scarf kind of. I'd say that's kind of what I, that Vitus or whatever that I'm doing is kind yes. of a crescent. Yes, yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. I think I like that too because, yeah, I don't all that bulk. I yeah, don't, I just don't. Like I that have bulk. enough bulk, <laughs> and then no, you, pile, bulk. you pile you pile more bulk. Much. It's too much bulk, <laughs> and then you try and eat, and you're like, I can't see what I'm eating. Not that I eat all the time. I really don't. <laughs> but I don't like to have to take off. Well, you do have to eat though. You have to eat, and I don't want to have to undress to eat. So anyway, I thought about doing another Zorzel shawl and doing it in one of these combinations but probably this one because it's really pretty it's so pretty yeah whereas that one's fine it is and this does look really good with like a purple pretty. or pink sure. or something or, or black. just oh black black would be awesome i don't have a black but oh i think you can fix that somebody oh wait a second that, right but you need that you might need that i might your, need it but so if not. i don't yeah. need it <laughs> no if you don't need it that would be perfect <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. So many choices. And that happens when I just go to put, like, I went to put this away, and I'm like, oh, look. And I start pulling all these. <laughs> and pretty soon I'm ready to cast on something else because I put colors together that look so pretty. I and all I meant to do was put yarn away. <laughs> so this sock I had showed on, I had showed, I would shown on Instagram, and then I tore it out because it was just too big. Oh. And then started it again. Because oh, that's with the avocado yarn. Yes, this is Carrie's <laughs> avocado yarn. It's so pretty. So that was two or three years ago. I dyed yarn using avocado. Yeah. Like did a natural dye. And and I used some of it for something. Yeah. And but, I didn't like it because I thought it would just look like flesh. It's so I'm like, pretty. it turned out so so beige and fleshy. And, and I gave it to... <laughs> I don't like it. Let me give it to you guys for Christmas. <laughs> and they all loved it. So it was good to give it away because I didn't like it. But then you used it in a sweater or something. It looked so good because yeah. you did it with navy or what something. I, I don't remember. But, yeah, I really do really like it. Well, this is an interesting pattern on It's here. a very fun. It's another one by Amy from Little Taylor S. Okay. And it is something about a bridge. Um, Fording Bridge Trainer Socks. So they're short, shorties? They're shorties. And I will tell you, though, that the star stitch that you're doing, it's the same one that I did in that one in my Mesa wrap thing. Yeah. So you're knitting three together, yarn over, knit three together. And so you have really to hard. you have to knit really loose yeah. on, in the row in between. So that you can pick all that so up. So that you can pick all that up. So, like, normally I'll cast on a 64... Which I think is just too many. I think I need to come to terms with the fact that for my foot, I need to do the smaller size for my foot. And then if I'm going to do anything above the heel, increase. Oh, okay. Because I don't like socks that are too loose. I like them to be kind of I think snug. you're a looser knitter, too. I'm totally a yeah. looser knitter. So, Especially on one that you need to be knitting loose. Yeah. So the ones that I initially did this with, it was just way too loose. So I took it back down to the toe. Got them back on the needle and then just did some decreases to get it down to the smaller size. And then her pattern calls for doing this twisted rib around the arch. Oh, that's around the arch. Yeah. But I decided to do a two color. Yeah, it looks like corrugated. From, um, a different sock. Different sock uh, pattern. I wanted to be So able does to say. that keep it from sliding it's supposed to keep it from sliding. sliding okay especially with shorties do you jelly find rolls oh the jelly roll the socks. jelly roll socks because i wanted to use these two together because i think they go so good together yeah they do so i'm doing that i'll probably do another half inch or so of the two together then i'll then go back into this pattern and then i'll do the heel and then i'll just do a little bit of just a little cuff just a little cuff just to or I could do them a little bit. I mean, I just I'm not I'm not going to be able to wear these with my tennis shoes. By Too thick means. because of I, the texture. I think it would bug me. I don't know. I know I don't typically wear hand knit socks because when I wear tennis shoes, it's I'm on my treadmill or mm. I'm. 
it's not even so much walking around my property because then I'm wearing my hiking boots because right. of all our uneven right. ground. And I don't wear hand knit socks for those things. I don't, yeah, I don't wear my hand, generally don't wear my hand knit socks when I take Violet for a walk and yeah. stuff just because I wear through them too fast if yeah. I wear them for that. So I'll wear them just like when I'm around the house That's and I'm going to run to the store yeah. or, you know. When do I wear my hand? I wear, I, I wear do, house. I do wear mine. I don't go anywhere very often. Same. So, um, I, you know, they fit my slippers just fine. Yeah. <laughs> I had bought and I, I wish they'd made some that were actually truly comfortable, but I, I bought and returned some of those types of shoes that are clear. Oh, you know, because you would love to, to show, show off, off your, your shoes, socks, yeah. but they they make your feet sweat, don't they? They do, and they're just it's not, just plastic. I haven't found any that were comfortable. They're just plastic. I'm like, no, yeah. they gotta breathe. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we all need to just breathe. <laughs> yes. So, do you have any new things? Oh, I, what about? And I'm not shaming you. Okay. What about your tapestry thing that you're doing with the sheep? I put it away for Did a while you? because I had it on my kitchen table. Because it's definitely one of those things that you have to be at the table for. I can't okay. sit in my chair and do okay. it. And so I've had it out. And I just got tired of it being on my table. So I just, when I was working on it, I was enjoying it. Mm -hmm. And then I forced myself to put it away to do that sewing stuff. Oh. And then I kind of lost just, momentum. <laughs> I, haven't, I, I haven't started it again. Yeah. And that's why I'm saying that's the perfect example of if you're like going strong on something. Stay with Just it. Just stay with it because you never know when that feeling's going to pass. Yeah, write it out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> until, until it naturally exactly. dies off. Because it will die off. Because it will die off. <laughs> it always Before you finish. To. Yeah. <laughs> So. Not everybody's like us. I, no, I have friends that they have, like, I'm working on this project. Yep. And then I'll finish this project. And then I'm going to work. And I'm, I used to be like that. And then. I have never been that way that I can remember with, I mean. When I first started, when I was early, in my early times of knitting, I had a, a, a sock that I would knit. And I would knit the sock. And when that was done, yeah, I, think I might find maybe. something else and I would knit the shawl or whatever it was. Now, it's and it's, I think it's because of what happens on Instagram. <laughs> you know, you start seeing like so somebody's well, new yeah. pattern or something. And you're like, oh my gosh, I fell in love with this. Or a colorway. Or yeah. Aaron dyes something beautiful and I have to buy yarn. Then I have to find something yeah. to do with it. And now I have all kinds of whips and then i try crochet and decide yeah i don't think i'm gonna crochet so i pulled that out the other day and i'm what like oh i don't really want to rip this off <laughs> i think maybe i can finish it Recycle back just through. Put it back. see and that's the thing is it's nice because sometimes you want to change things up mm -hmm. but you don't really want to investigate what to do so if you already have some things going you're not having to And cast I know on. when I picked up my hit to feud the last time, it was like, oh, you know, this isn't so bad. And I was good for like, you know, four rows or something. And I'm like, yeah, I'm over it. Okay. So if I just pick at it four rows at a yeah. time, eventually that sucker's going to be done and we're going to have a party. That's how I feel about <laughs> that bubbles thing in a way. Because yeah. when I pulled it out the last time, and it's been quite a while. I was like, well, why have I been fighting this so much? This yeah, isn't bad. This isn't so bad. And then all of a sudden it is again. Yeah, and then you're, you're like, like, oh, yeah, I remember. I, hate I remember why I didn't like this. Exactly. <laughs> I remember now. Yeah. <laughs> I think with the bubbles part of it, even though I love having lots of different, like I love. You have a beautiful palette. I love self-striping yarn and stuff because I love changing colors and mm -hmm. stuff. But when you're changing, like literally changing the colors every six rows. And it's all those. It's a pain. Ends, and all yeah. those paint, all those ends. Yeah. And so I think that might have something to do with it. I will say, though, this was really weird, but on these socks, I did not mind weaving those ends in. And that's a lot of ends. It was a lot of ends. Like, pretty often, because yeah. you're having yeah. such a small Two circumference. Two for each, you know. Yeah. It just didn't bother me. Was, that's interesting. But the bubbles will bother me. <laughs> <laughs> you'll get her done. Well, eventually. Yeah, well, and you'll be glad that you did. Okay. So, are you, did you show everything? Did you want to talk about anything else? Anything like that I've purchased. Whatever, yeah. yeah. Well, I got this <gasps> cute whale bag from that Molly Klein cute. Designs. She started doing these little, I think she like called a little couch, bucket. Oh, okay. couch pails, I think. Okay. Which I just like that yeah. style. Cause, yeah. Because, I mean, I'm not on a couch. I'm in my lazy boy chair. Okay, same thing. I don't it's need a zipper thing. anymore. Right, right. Yeah. You're not taking it like but, you used to. Right. Yeah. 
So here I am. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> but it anyway. went, in the, went in the bigger bag. <laughs> so she had That's this pretty. fabric, and so she made that one especially for me, and I love it. She it's did. the whales and... Um, and that's nice. It's a canvas interior, so it gives it some sturdiness. Yeah. Very cool. I like it. That's a, like um, a two skein it, bucket. Yeah, it, it's definitely, in fact, I could put my, my but I'm only going to be using those two skeins for now, so. Yeah. I, uh, I just had some stuff in it. Oh, well, maybe before I go, I'll put my hat on so you guys can see. Mess up your hair. Yeah, then I don't care. I mean, it's not like it's. This was now, such a great color. I remember when you made this because it was like. It oh, was my favorite so party. Yeah, it was great. It <laughs> would be worth it for you to purchase this yarn again and make another one because you know you loved that so much and you wore it. I was a very lot. tempted, and what has kept me from doing it is that you're knitting it on like tens, ten point seven five, and that just kills my hands. But it goes so. Fast. That's true. It does go, f and I have. I've I've kicked it back and forth. Believe me, because it's not like, it's not like you never wore it. Like you wore it. I did wear it a lot. A lot. Yeah. It would be worth the purchase. Yeah, it would. That's so it pretty. Would. That really showed the cables pretty well too. Yeah, it did. Yeah, yeah. I bought this firecracker colorway from Desert Vista Dye Works. It's very much like. It's kind of similar to, to that this. one, yeah, but different. Yeah, and I'm I'm not gonna do anything with it for a while, but it was leaving her shop. Oh, and I wanted it. You know, I just like it. Yeah. Um, so the red, white, and blue. I'll do something with it mm -hmm. next year, maybe mm -hmm. or not. Socks. They'd be cute socks. They'd be great socks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then Christmas. night owl fibers. This was their uh, Christmas 2023 colorway. You can't. You can see. Oh, it's got here. brown it's got in some it. Brown. And so red. like. Like gingerbread. I don't usually like your traditional red and mm -hmm. green Christmas colorways. Mm -hmm. um, I can see if I can find it on here. I probably should have done that, but um, I'm surprised with the pink mini. To me, that doesn't go. I'm doing so. I'm just gonna have to show you there, but you can look them up. I just, you know, yeah, I like. A, the, a, I, I like the sock. I like <laughs> the striping of the sock. Oh, sorry. That's okay. The striping on the sock. Yeah. I'm sure you've got something else you can put in there. I I think I'll get by. I think you will. Those are the row one minis. I'm just oh, wondering see, if there was there, something I'm in sure there. there probably is. <laughs> and this could be one. There could be lots more Christmas colorways that come out between now and Christmas. Oh, probably. That I'll be like, oh, I like that better. But I liked this mm -hmm. at the moment when I ordered. No, I like the I like that stripe of of speckling. I do too. Yeah. If I like you that. put a stripe of speckling in, I'm in. That's good. I, I yeah. like that. That's good. Um, yeah, and then I have my row one minis that I will probably show just because I don't know when Leslie and I are yeah. going to get together and I don't want them to not be shown. If row one minis are super fun, she every month she has a different dyer always takes Let's i know move that I just know, until you I get know. that opened up <laughs> because the creaking if it's you're just, listening with earbuds it's like ah especially since i can't find the where it where. opens so here you can show half of them okay like cool who is the dyer do we know the dyer is heather, heather handmaids. handmaids i like how it feels though yeah yeah it feels nice so this is wanderlust and this is Be Teal My Heart. I love that. That's pretty. I must really like teal because I always like Well, it's in colors. the blue family. It is definitely in the blue so. family. And this one's great. Light wash. It's like uh, faded jeans yeah. or something. Sincerity. Beautiful pink. Oh, this is an awesome blue. Comfy pants. <laughs> <laughs> and... Saucer Magnolia. I don't know what that's referencing. I don't either. But it's a pretty pink variegated. Don't quit your daydream. Oh, I love that saying. Don't quit your daydream. <laughs> Wildflower Bouquet. That is pretty. I love this too with the blue. Yeah. And this. Oh yeah. Goddess of Mischief. This is wishful thinking. That's it. But so you do look at these together. There are some. Not even. Oops. In those. That goes like that's that's a neat palette. This like if you really bought pretty. the whole skeins, that's a pretty palette. Yeah, but I love 
and you, oh, and then you add this to it, <laughs> and then you add this. Yeah, look, just have you've to got. All together. You need to go get full skeins of those. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty. So if Leslie and I do record, then um, you'll just have Probably to show see them all again. But well, she gets she, she gets, gets different, different colors, yeah. so that's fun. But is it usually the same dyer? It's always the same okay, dyer. Okay, same dyer, but yeah. she just gets a different batch of yeah. colors. So you don't know what you're going to get. Like if I subscribe to it, I could get this batch or I could get her batch I, or you get them I both. I think that there's, only, I think she only, I think there's a total of two okay. different ones, but it's always the same dyer. Okay. But a different dyer every month. So yeah. it's fun. It is fun. And it's fun. Cool. Is that, is that it? I think that's all I have okay. to show. Okay. I have nothing else because I just don't. <laughs> that's a good reason not to. <laughs> so if you want to win the panel, um, it, I will pick winners for both of the giveaways on September 4th. And so use the word thankful. Tell me something you're thankful for. If you want the cross stitch pattern. Uh, use pumpkin spice Sorry. and I will pick the winner on the fourth whether I record or not I don't know because then I go on vacation right after that oh, yeah. but I will at least pick and announce a winner so it doesn't go too far because fall's coming and like you, you can gotta do get something going on with it. that yeah, yeah you gotta get busy <laughs> so yeah thanks for coming and being with me again oh it was fun <laughs> I was I was down this way anyway I fit her yeah now. you were <laughs> It's like, let's fit you in while I'm already in the I mean, neighborhood. You know. <laughs> Don't make a special trip. You have just to combine your trips, you know. That's right. And then I have to go to the store. Oh, a fun. Big outing. My husband's having hernia repair surgery tomorrow, oh, so. You got to get him all supplied up. I think I've got pretty much everything that we need. Is he know. just, is it just a, a what they call day surgery? Day surgery he just goes yeah. home right away. Yeah. He'll be fine. He'll just be sore, but he'll, he'll oh, be fine. Oh, yeah. His, his biggest challenge, I think, will be obeying doctor's orders and not doing things that he shouldn't be doing and yes it'd yeah. be hard to keep him down yes exactly <laughs> and that he stays and really busy off him because they well also doesn't he can lunge put a anywhere pillow. but i already bought him one yeah. i bought him a special pillow yeah has a, a little sleeve for an ice pack and oh good <laughs> you're so good we're all set good so well i hope it all goes well i'm sure thank you yes so anyhow. okay yeah. All right, well, yeah, thanks Thank for uh, letting me come hang out. Oh, absolutely. It's always fun. Hi. It's always so. fun. Okay, until next time. Yeah. Okay, bye. bye. <laughs>